Today I'd like to talk to you about doing a retroaldol condensation. Uh, the first thing we have to do is recognize that we do have a dehydrated aldol product here. And if we look closely, we can see our alpha position and our beta position has a double bond, so it's unsaturated, and we're next to a ketone. So it's an alpha, beta, unsaturated ketone. So the first thing that we want to do is identify that beta position. And um, when we go to our next step kind of backwards, we want to put a hydroxy group right at that beta position. And you can see here, that's what we've done. So there's your alpha, there's your beta. Now we have an OH position here. There's really only one uh, step left that we have here. We're gonna break the bond between alpha and beta. So this bond is gonna be erased. And then we need to convert this OH group into a carbonyl group. So let's see what happens there. There's our bond between alpha and beta broken. So that used to be right there. And then our OH group has turned into a carbonyl group.